as Namma Bengaluru wakes up from its slumber, birds chirp in vast gardens of this mega city. People set out to make the best of this new day. Soon, traffic on the road starts piling. The smoke, heat, sound pollution raises to the threshold of pain. Making it yet another tiring day, one looks forward to get over with. This capital city, Bengaluru, opened its wings and took to sky as it became the hub of information technology and biotechnology in late 1990s. Influx of people into the city started increasing multifold and so did the stress on streets of this city. Traffic congestion, scarcity of parking spaces was bringing down the hard-earned glory of the city. It was in 2006, Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation, BMRC, a company jointly owned by Government of India and Government of Karnataka, was set up to bring Namma Metro to Namma City. Namma Metro has been an ambitious project of our government. As Bangalore gears up to be a bigger player in Indian economy, we want to make sure that various infrastructure, including efficient public transportation, is ready to take the challenge. We hope this will take Bangalore to new heights. We are committed to bring the best to the citizens of Bangalore. Phase 1 of Namma Metro was envisioned to consist two major lines. East-West Line, called as Purple Line, and North-South Line, called as Green Line. Both these lines would cross each other at the Kempegora interchange station in two levels. Purple line would be 18 kilometers in length and green line would be 23 kilometers. The total cost of this phase one is 14,000 crore. Karnataka government has contributed about 5,000 crores. Central government is contributing 3,000 crores. The remaining 6,000 crores we are taken from various financial institutions. But a project of such proportions comes with challenges of equal scale. Preparing the city for a construction of this magnitude was the first challenge. The train had to travel through elevated roads mostly and underground in some places. Age of the buildings surrounding the construction site, traffic conditions, economic implications, social repercussions, water table levels and such hundreds of variants had to be carefully studied, scientifically analyzed and a learned decision had to be made. Metro Underground goes as deep as 16 to 22 meters below the surface level in various places. In those depths, construction had to break into hard rock. A highly calculated, controlled blasting was the only way out. The tough terrain of Bangalore was a major engineering challenge and we had to make about 9 kilometers of underground section. It rarely happens that a tunnel boring machine breaks down and this happened in one of the reaches. Means the rock was so hard that the machine broke down and that posed a huge challenge. We had to remove the machine, put a new machine but I would say that our engineers and the contractors engineers did, did a wonderful job in getting that completed. But the most important thing was that in spite of all these challenges, uh, we ensured that there was no damage to any human life. And that was a big achievement on the part of Nama Metro. Overcoming all the hardships, Bengaluru Metro was completed in stages. Reach one of the phase one, Purple Line was the track from Bayyapannaharli to MG Road Station was completed, tested and opened for public on 20th October 2011. In the modern public transportation in Bengaluru. People started using this facility almost immediately. Subsequently, Mysore Road to Magadi Road Station, Pinya Industry to Mantri Square Sampige Road Station, Pinya Industry to Nagasandra stations were completed. Underground section of MG Road to Magadi Road Station 2 was completed successfully. Today, 
trains with capacity to carry over 1,000 people at once speed across the city covering over 42 kilometers and reaching 40 stations. Metro trains are electrically powered through current collectors mounted on either side. They collect current from bottom of the train. This avoids hanging wires making it more reliable and safe. This is first of its kind in South India. Air spring suspended bogies provide high comfort and reliable performance. Sliding doors are equipped with internal and external emergency release devices. Interiors styled with effective lighting, information boards, electronic displays and automatic digital voice announcements make the travel a satisfying and comforting experience to the commuters. The entire Namma Metro operations are centrally controlled by state-of-the-art signaling systems. These systems monitor each move of every train on the track, people on the station and working condition of the entire system at all times. Computerized calculations provide highly accurate solutions, pushing the efficiency levels to the highest limits. Security is another major aspect of the entire operation. The physical infrastructure Namma Metro features is future ready. It is National Building Code compliant. Surveillance cameras installed in every corner of the entire network watches every activity around the clock. This not only checks the operational part of Namma Metro but also makes sure that the commuters have an incident-free, pleasant experience. Underground network is equipped with emergency exits air circulation controllers and sound controlling facilities and other features that makes the operation highly secured. Temperature controlling in stations and bogies adds to the comfort of travel. Automatic fire detection systems across the operations prevents from any eventuality. In case of emergency, Namma Metro is equipped to fight fire in various ways. To make metro travel more convenient, huge parking spaces were created in select metro stations. BMTC partners with Namma Metro by bringing passengers to the metro stations and making the entire network more efficient and productive. After the um, inauguration of uh, metro services, we have been in the process of uh, redesigning uh, our routes and uh, realigning them to suit uh, people who are travelling by metro as well because the first mile and the last mile connectivity is provided by BMTC. In addition to just adding the services, we have also come out with some promotion schemes. Uh, we have special passes for people who are travelling from Vayapanhalli to ITPL. We are also in the process of having a common card between BMTC and metro. With all these mega constructions, state-of-the-art management systems and large operational cost, Metro still had to be a highly cost-effective mode of transportation. For this, various commercial spaces were created in the Metro stations. Advertising avenues were created to cross-subsidize the travel. It created opportunities to entrepreneurs and made Metro an affordable operation. To make fare collection easy and effective, automatic fare collection systems are installed in every station. Namma Metro was envisioned to be a greener way of transportation. Very minimum green cover of Bengaluru was disturbed while constructing this mega network. And to every tree that fell, 10 trees were planted. Metro Odo Bengaluru. traffic hectic of pollution compare even everyone kids in the ugly adults are the senior citizens metro is very useful and even for our pregnant women also it's you know metro of course has made our life easier metro in the Samanajan, Yaritika, on the Upyoga, Akta, another than now Kandar and Ortadevi, 
ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ನಿಜವಾಗೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಟ್ರೋನೇ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯಂಟ್ ರಿಲಯಬಲ್ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೇವಿಂಗ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಫೋರ್ಡಬಲ್ ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಉತ್ತಮ ಬೇರೆ ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾನಂತೂ ಗಾಡಿ ಅಂತೂ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸೋನಲ್ಲ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ 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 ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಟ್ರೋಗೆ ಜೈ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ಶೋಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈನಾಮಿಕ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಟು ಬಿ ಡೈನಾಮಿಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಥ್ರೂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆವೆನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಕೇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಸ್ಥೆಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ beat colored pillars on the roads recreating the boulevard in mg road various art spaces and cultural activities around metro adds to the flavor of this city kempe gowda station in this network is already the largest metro station in asia it would be the second uh biggest metro in the country and being and, and the first one in, in in south india as far as the government is concerned we have made sure that all the agencies of the government all the wings of the government have worked together to make sure that the project goes on smoothly whether it comes to the financing of the project or getting the lands necessary from various departments or even acquisition of private lands i think we have made sure that uh, the project does not face any uh, road blocks and uh, through this coordination we have been able to achieve the commissioning of phase 1 the phase 2 also we already started the work and i take this opportunity to congratulate all the board members and the staff and the workers who contributed a lot they worked around the clock to fulfill the ambitions of this phase 1 metro many milestones crossed yet the journey of namma metro is only halfway through achievements are plenty in its full glory namma metro would be the largest metro train network in india phase 1 has been completed now phase 2 work has started and will be targeting to complete by 2020 while the phase 2 is going on we'll be working on phase 3 also which would be a more elaborate network for bangalore city yes namma metro rolls out every day making life lives of our people easier keeping pollution levels lower and our pride higher i would like to thank all the spirited people who worked tirelessly to make this dream of our government a reality a dedicated team of engineers thousands of highly skilled workers and bmrc management works hard to make this a dream run a dream of greener efficient and affordable transportation it reflects the style and vigor of bengaluru it is truly namma metro